Into the business, some mixed news for business and crime stats are released today. On the positive side, commercial crimes fell by 12%. Cash and transit robberies down by a whopping 18%. Bank robberies cut by 19%. But while uh, perhaps as consumers were safer in the bank, shoplifting went up by 2%. Truck jackings rose by nearly 30%. And the biggest increase in sheer numbers were for robberies with aggravating circumstances, which includes robberies at businesses while employees are present. Before we interrogate these stats, some more relating to business uh, with the Institute of Security Studies, let's take a look at the overall picture. 17,805 murders in the last year. That's 49 murders a day. The Institute for Security Studies puts the murder rate at 33 per 100,000. Contact crime, which includes murder, attempted murder, sexual offences and assault, makes up more than 34 per cent of all crime reported. Your assertion that crime is not under control, because that's just simply a statement. And yet the statistics that we put before you, they say over the 10-year period and over the 5-year period, there have been a decrease. And that's not speculated. Other figures presented by Minister Nkleko and National Police Commissioner Ria Piheja include carjacking, which increased by an alarming 14.2%. The most feared crime, home break-ins, rose by 5.2%. And attempted murders went up by 3.2% with a slight increase in assault with the intent to do grievous bodily harm. Sexual offences actually decreased by 5.4%. South Africa has 54 million citizens and 194,000 men and women in blue. That's one police officer per 356 citizens. The police boss warned that the influx of foreign nationals is putting pressure on SAPS resources. We are showing in that map the distribution of foreign-born population that do not have South African citizenship. You understand the pressures of policing that we face because over and above the 54 million that the minister spoke about, we then have to also add, factor into that, this distribution that you are seeing in this regard. On the murder rate, an indicator of how violent a society is, Nkleko says police arrive at the scene after the fact. We need to dissuade ourselves think, to think that the, the reduction of the murder rate in our society is what police must do. And we have got nothing to do with it because it's wrong to think that way. Um, we have got everything to do with it. We raise our children and we need to raise them in a particular way. Some provinces are more dangerous than others. Gauteng currently leads the pack with the highest number of murders recorded, followed by the Western Cape and Limpopo. Nyanga on the Cape Flats, however, remains the country's murder capital. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.